Hello, welcome to Shusha's Kitchen. We're cooking today uh, mahshi. Mahshi, it's a um, Mediterranean dish. It means stuffed. So we're stuffing aubergine and courgette or any vegetables you like. This dish, it's always remind me of a particular story of my eldest daughter's childhood. She had just started her nursery. It was her first day and I had prepared for her this dish for her lunch. She was the tallest in the class by far uh, compared to the other kids. So at lunch, the parents asked me if it was because of what I was feeding her. Uh, I don't know if it was or wasn't, but all my kids came down tall. It's one of my signature dishes and uh, I hope you enjoy this journey down memory lane with me. Thank you so much. We start by stuffing the, the vegetables. Before we stuffing, sorry, we need to wash the vegetables and take off the flesh from it, prepare it for the stuffing. The stuffing will be rice, minced meat, dried mint, all spice, cinnamon, and black pepper. Be generous with the garlic. Mix them well, then stuff the vegetables. After that, we need to make the tomato sauce. And it has to be creamy, nice tomato sauce. Goes with the vegetables. So we start by cut the head of the aubergine. I've been cut it already. And just hold it with your hand and just start little hole and then you go deeper to take off the flesh if you don't have the core you can use like like a, the the other end of the spoon long one and just start doing the same take off take off the flesh out of it don't make it very thin and don't make it very thick it has to be like a a good like a good thickness because if it's very thin it will break yeah. because if it's very thick still wouldn't cook uh, evenly and if it's very thin maybe it will break so you have to yeah I think by time you will you know which which thickness it's the best then we'll cook the other one You can put your finger inside just to check if everything is out. We'll do the same with the courgette. So again, small hole and then start digging down. Now we'll do the stuffing. Uh, I'm using short grain rice. You can use Italian rice, Egyptian rice, any, any rice you like, pudding rice. We'll add the garlic, the mashed garlic, allspice, uh, cinnamon, sorry, and allspice, black pepper, minced mint, and we'll add the, the minced meat. You can play around with the ingredient. Anything you want to add or to make it less or more, it's like doable. We'll add half of the lemon juice, and we need salt. Olive oil. And mix well. We have to mix them really well. It's just because we don't want like piece of meat or like lots of uh, spices in one area. We want all of them to be mixed thoroughly. Maybe a little bit of salt. So it's mixed well. Now we start stuffing the courgette or the aubergine first, doesn't matter. Usually we stuff it like up to here, not right to the end because the rice will expand. If the meat is more than the rice, you can, you know, you can Again, stuff it up to here. If it's the rice is more, it's like nearly three quarter. You stuff them, 
just to leave room for the rice to expand. Tap them upside down and then again just to make sure everything is goes right to the end. If you see it's not really full and it's like there is a room around the stuffing. So to let the, the sauce goes inside. And we'll do the same with the aubergine. Aubergine takes more stuffing. <laughs> Sometimes when the, the vegetable is quite big, just make like a little hole right at the end over here, just to let the juice come inside to cook the stuffing. And we finish all the vegetables and we'll come back. Now we're done with the uh, stuffing. I have some more left. I, I'm gonna use it for vine leaf. I'm gonna stuff the vine leaves. Feel free to use, to use it with any vegetables or chicken you want. It's always, uh, you shouldn't throw this one away. It's really nice. So we'll put it aside. Now we'll do the sauce. Basically, I'm using tomato, fresh tomato. Uh, you can use the canned one, but it's, it's up to you. So cut off this part. I have received this one from Spain. It's really nice, organic, fresh one. We need to blend the tomato and make it like a creamy sauce. Very, very uh, soft. Cut the head. And it's better to use quite ripe uh, one. Add more of them here. Just will add some of the boiling water. And like, just like three garlic also. Now it's very smooth. We'll put a little bit of olive oil here and we'll place the aubergine first. Just we'll make sure it goes everywhere. And then we'll place the aubergine and the courgette. And also, I'm using long green chili but it's not really hot. The rest of the garlic. And then I serve the tomato sauce to make it super creamy. We don't want any pips in it, so just like very smooth, very creamy. So this part, we don't want it. We'll take it off, put it aside, and then we'll do more. If you're happy with the pulps and doesn't really bother you, it's just you can skip this part. We need to cover it with boiling water. And then we'll add the lemon juice, the rest of the lemon juice. I can see there is some tomato here. I don't want to waste it. I'm gonna add it also. And now we'll put some salt. You can also add fresh mint and turn the heat on on a high heat first for about 10 minutes. Then reduce the heat to medium. I'll let you know how long it's gonna take. Thank you. Now it's boiling, so we'll, uh, we'll lower the heat and we'll leave it to cook. Now it's been 40 minutes. I think it's, it's cooked. You can check if it's done. Just with the fork, a little bit, check the courgette. Yes, it's done. And the aubergine, also 
is done. We'll turn off the heat and also check the salt. It's really nice. So time to serve. Just you have to be very gentle with the, uh, with the vegetable. You don't want to break them. Lots of uh, juice. Don't forget the pepper. Put it on the side. And the dish, it's ready. I hope you're ready to enjoy this meal that fills me with nostalgia. Let me know what you think. And see you soon. Thank you so much.